You know, an important component to remember when you're writing short form sales letters or VSLs versus writing long form uh, VSLs or sales letters is when you're doing a short form, there's fewer bells and whistles in the beginning. A lot less prefacing, framing, open loops, things of that nature. When you're writing long form copy, you need those psychological triggers to keep them invested in the copy for the long term because you're you're taking them on a longer journey. There's a longer unfolding. One line only exists to get to the next, right? Well, when you have longer copy, you need to prepare your prospects. We do that with open loops to be there for the longer haul subtly without saying outright, oh, this is gonna be long, so stick around. When we do short form, those things are omitted because we're just kind of ah, going straight for the throat. Um, cutting out a lot of the fluff and, and straight to the point. So always remember, you know, short form is short form. The moment short form starts bordering on long form, you're probably gonna lose your prospects even if it's really good copy. That's right up the alley of what your prospect should be responding to. Um, because you don't have the bells and whistles in the front of the copy that is preparing them for a slightly longer unfolding. When you have that long form, you're preparing them so you have more creative license in a sense to um, get them there. With short form, too long for short form isn't good. It isn't better. Keep short form short. Anyway, that's all.